The Brisbane Lions haven't made a grand final since 2004. How do you assess how their trade period went and where they're going, Joey? Well, again, they were pretty quiet, weren't they, Rolfie? Just Darcy Fort in, which was a needs basis. Um, and I think he's going to be a backup ruck to start, but it does give them the option without Hipwood for the majority of next year maybe for Oscar McInerney to again play a bit more forward, like he did a few years ago allows Danaher to do, which I think he does better, plays a bit more of a flanker, a bit like Jeremy Cameron. I don't think Joe Danaher is best as a key forward, and of course they've got McStay and their smalls that are really dangerous with Cameron and McCarthy. So Hipwood will be back about round 15, Cam Rayner will be back from his ACL about round 1. They just didn't have cap space, they had no cap space at all, at all to chase the likes of Jack Gunston, who I think we all would have been fantastic. I'm a big fan of this kid called Zach Bailey, David. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, so, so 440 <laughs> touches last year, 31-18. I mean, that's an outstanding season. What can he do next year, given, of course, you identified him so early and just rode him all the way home? Him. I do love him. I think you get sometimes you get these special talent-type players mm. walk into your club and you sort of think, OK, what can he be? You try and make him a midfielder, you try and make him a goal-kicking yeah, forward, you're not quite sure yourself. But he's, he's one that could be a 35 plus goal kicker and still 20 touches a week in the midfield. All damage, all forward half stuff. Rain is a big inclusion. He's like a first round selection coming back in. So when, when you look at this, when you look at their list, I, I still wonder whether they could take the risk in giving up a, a first round pick this year or next year's first round pick, given where they're at already. They're already there. They're already contending. OK, Hipwood's going to miss a part of next season. Was it worth the gamble to go and get a Gunston or go and get a Bruce? Hawthorne were prepared to pay. They've already been through the Hodge and Birchall uh, era of the last yeah. few years. It's worked for them. They would have been glowing endorsements for those guys to come up. Gunston would have gone. Gunston would have gone to Brisbane. Don't they need money? Well, Hawthorne were prepared to half, pay. Maybe so half. And half. So here's how it works. Tight. They're that tight, aren't they? No, so so okay. Brisbane have got... So you've got to give up something, Joe. Brisbane have got 14 and 18. That they were so tight. But say that they had said to Jack Gunston, we'll give Hawthorne 18, which is over for a bloke that's pick 30. Um, we'll pay you two. Hawthorne, you pay 300 of his contract. He's probably on about 500, 550. That's the way it could have worked. People would have said, you can't give up 18 for a 30-year-old. But it would have put him in the window. <laughs> and, and potentially, a bloke in Jack Gunston, who's kicked four goals in two grand finals, wins his fourth or his fifth. He's a best Ferris 12 months ago. Hear yeah. that? Four goals in two grand finals. Yeah. They're not kicking to Charlie Cameron, who, who's let them down on, yep. on in big occasions. Joe Danner, who hasn't been a great target for them in big games back half of the season. This is what we're talking about. It's about one component in a big game, a preliminary final, and I think a Gunston or a Bruce would have been that You've man. got to be bold, and you've, you've been big be on bold. that, Joey. Yeah, you do, but they're, they're in a pretty healthy spot. I mean, they've finished top four three years in a row. Yeah. I think they're, they're, their list profile, they are in the sweet spot. There's no doubt about that. They'll get Rainer back. Talk about Zach Bailey and the growth to continue from McCluggage and Berry. Kadeen Coleman, it was a find, and you know, McCarthy, they're all playing career-best football. We know they're, they're in the sweet spot right now, King. They need to be trying to win a flag in the next three years. They'll be, they'll be bitterly disappointed if they don't win a premiership with this list they've compiled.